What is up everybody? It is your boy Fry and man every time I greet you guys I squeak the chair and I just don't feel like doing this again. Um yeah, I'm basically recording with the graphics card. Oh shit! I was saying it's the HD. Excellent. Alrighty, so basically I'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh do automation with <laughs> I was so hyped up there. All right, how to do uh, automation in FL Studio, just basic stuff as well as a few secrets that a lot of people don't um, show you, right? They all stick to the whole theory of things, but have you really used automation? You know what I'm saying? Alrighty, so we're basically going to be focusing on hip hop um, kind of based automation. You know, we're not doing EDM. Go find another video for that. There's a bunch of those um, out there. But so the first thing you want to know is obviously, all right, so how do I create an automation clip? Now, the cool thing about FL is every single thing is automatable pretty much. You can automate this, you know, which is the master fader, which is really the master volume. Don't worry too much about that fader, but that's just basically meaning that you can really automate almost any sort of fader. You know, all you need to do is right click and you can go to create automation clip. Now, a lot of people always want to know how do you automate third party uh, VSTs? That's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and find a third party VST. We are in the uh, six Bobby Bobby uh, recording template. So what you want to do is you want to go to this little knob here, multi links to controllers. You want to click it once. Then you want to go ahead and, and uh, just twist any of the knob that you want to automate. So as you can see, something happened up there. Once you're done, um, you can do as many as you want. So I could go one, two, three, four in that order. So if I go two, you can see that it says number two. And let's just say for um, uh, actually, let me just do this again because I, I need to do it the right way. Um, already there. So we've got my mixer that's going to pick up on these. So let's go one, two, three, four. Right now, we can configure them with our controller. You see? So I went one, two, three, four. But -da 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 -da, I've completely messed up the sound of this uh, thingy. But there you go. You know what I mean? You can automate anything you want, really. Um, but we're just going to stick to the basic stuff. Uh, so that's really for third party stuff. If you just want to set up a delay, right, let's do that. Now, the most important thing is um, actually being in tempo, because if you're in tempo, you can actually set up delays, uh, reverbs, you know, you can actually put things on grid, which is important, as you can see. Bowling, bowling, bowling. You know what I mean? That kick drum is on grid. That's the most important thing about being in tempo. Uh, so, you know, your project's pretty much destroyed if you've recorded your whole song and, and then you want to start mixing it because you see everything moves up and, and goes out of pitch and just things get crazy. So you don't want to, you know, get into that situation. You want to set up your, um, you know, uh, BPM beforehand. Uh, it's just going to make things a lot easier. So obviously now we've got this uh, delay automation, as you can see right there. Now, the way I've set it up is let's just get rid of it. Now, the authentic way to get rid of automation with NFL Studio is to go to your little, um, what do you call this? I don't know, whatever the uh, browser, right? Now, what you want to do is you want to go to uh, current project, right? So as you can see, but -da, current project, you want to go to patterns. And then you want to go to initialize controls and actually right click and delete the events. Now that means that this is all, it all doesn't matter anymore. Have you ever, um, getting emails, have you ever deleted an automation clip? You deleted it, but then things are still kind of reacting within the mix or something like that. That's, that's the legitimate way to get rid of it. I learned that a while ago. I was like, all right, so that's cool. So now uh, we need to obviously delete this, you know, history over here. So what we want to do is want to go to our um, channel rack, we want to go to automation, and let's just delete all of those, right? Now what you can do is you can go Alt, Delete, boom. Now all of that is gone and then let's recreate some automation. So what we're gonna do is we, we first obviously, you know me, I like objective. What are we gonna do objectively? We want to set up uh, a delay trigger for our, our main vocal, right? So we wanna go to our main vocal. Now, you know, obviously we don't want our vocal unprofessionally. Anybody that's vocal sounds like this through a whole song. Up some curse, spend 200 on Welcome, punch! It's annoying, all right? After a while, it kind of gets annoying. So we, we just want to bring in our delay when we want to, all right? So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and left click, right? Generally, when you just left click, it opens up like that. We want to bring it to zero, right? Minus infinity, whatever you want to call it. You want to go ahead and uh, right click, or uh, yeah, right click, right? Right click, create automation clip. Now, um, there's a little trick we're going to be doing here. Okay, now that shouldn't have happened. Um, you see, so we can get rid of that clip right now by going boop, boop, and then deleting it and then actually deleting it there, right? So that's the legit way. Now, obviously, you want to just kind of zoom out on your track. Let's do that again. Uh, right click, create automation clip, right? And now we've got this um, automation clip. Now, what I like to do is I like to just create a master kind of um, 
clip, right? So I don't want that whole clip everywhere. I don't want to do things over and over again. This is my method of doing things once and for all, and then I can edit from there. So now, obviously, we, we want to find out how long our, our um, delays are going to be. So what we, we first want to do is want to make a unique clip right now. Why I do that is every time I make a, a unique clip, it's still triggering the delay as a whole, but it's not changing that one. You see, the problem is now if I, you see, now we've got that problem, right? We're duplicating things. We don't want to duplicate things. We want to be able to get the same result, but differently every time, if that makes sense. So as you can see here, rolling up some curve. you know what I mean? So let's just say this delay needed to be, um, what's the first word we want to delay, right? Obviously we need an objective. So let's go ahead and listen. Rolling up some curve, spent 200 on my t-shirt. All right, T-shirt, right? So there we go. T-shirt kind of starts there. Rolling up some curse, spent 200 on my T-shirt. I be in a stool, mix the... All right, so we want to get things on on my T-shirt. I be in a stool, mix the vocals with the reverb. Yeah, I actually remember I had done something like reverb. That didn't work out. So, so there we go, right? Vocals with the reverb. Bathe in name, shoes, same. Burp. You know what I mean? I'm not going to get this all perfect. I just want to give you guys the um the gist, right? Vocals so, with the reverb. Bathe in name, shoes, same color whatever. as some dessert. Now, dessert sounds good, right? Dessert. So we, we don't want to go ahead and manipulate that one because, you know, otherwise we're going to change th the sound of that. That, right so we just want to go ahead and left click make another one unique right so now we can go ahead and manipulate that one vocals with the reverb bathe in nape shoes same color as some dessert hop on out the whip you know make I mean? the tires go skr skr fendi bag now there we go we got something going skr skr so we don't just have to do things like delays right let's let's create another clip here and i'm going to show you something cool um i basically got this setup here which is the dual harmonizer really cool plugin so let's create an automation clip right so the first thing if i had this thing playing the whole way vocals with the reverb bathe in nape shoes gets pretty annoying right so we're gonna just pull that all the way down to zero the mix level create another automation clip right and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend in we're gonna make that screw screw sound super dope super dope bro all right so so where is that there we go around there let's just kind of mess around with that and we're going to bring the mix level in just a little bit. You know what I mean? Just something like that. And we can even blend it in just a little bit so it kind of, you know, doesn't just abruptly start. You know what I mean? Something like that. Actually, let's bring it in full because I think I had to set up the mix level within the plugin. Um, That's a whole nother video, but just... You know, you know what I mean? We can bring it in. You know what I mean? We can do anything we want. Now, Um, the little thing about the actual clips themselves, um, the way I have them set up is that if I have another clip here, I don't want the clip before or afterwards to move when I adjust something. You know what I mean? In the old FLs, I don't think... I think you always had an option, but I just never knew how to set it up. So as you can see in this tab here, we have um, our focus tab, which is our focus on patterns, focus on automation clips, focus on um, audio clips. I want to go ahead and click there. It should automatically adjust itself as you click on things within FL, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, you just want to turn off these two options, right? I don't really know what they do and what they, you know what I mean? But all that, I don't like it, all right? I just like both of the options off. I think the slide option means that you see what I mean? Now for yours, when I was still an amateur with NFL, I just used to deal with this problem, right? Oh my gosh, this was the most annoying thing ever, right? Turn both those options off, trust me. Uh, you can save time. If you need to duplicate things, as I say, just chop it up, you know, everything is on grid, so it's easy. We don't actually have to do things twice. We can just get rid of certain things, you know what I mean? And um, boom, you know. Too hard to drive, calling up my Uber driver. If you need some, you know what I mean. We can do whatever we want. Obviously, that all sounds not so good because I'm just rushing through this video trying to teach you automation. But um, that's pretty much all you really need to know. Um, you can actually another if you want to get into the next level of things, you can actually link multiple um faders to the same thing. So what you can do is um let's just say we had another plugin on this channel over here, right? So had a drive calling up my Uber driver. So as you can see the automation moves there, right? We can actually right click and then we can now go link to controller, right? And then we can find um all of our automation clips and obviously it's named this one because it's a dual harmonizer. And when I click there, basically I want to unclick remove conflicts unless you want that to happen. But you know, you can figure that out on your own. Boom, accept. And then you'll see, I can set that up as many times as I want. 
Um, FL is actually pretty good at, at automation, I must say, it's amazing. So just watch this. Do how to drive, calling up my Uber driver. If you need some lyric, you know what I mean? It's all beautiful, it's all in real time. You can actually see things happening. Um, we can even hook up a fader, right? So let's just say we want to just, uh, you know. Do how to drive, calling up my Uber driver. If you need some lyric, you know what I mean? Now the, the world is yours. You can go and do whatever you want. This is um awesome technology. Um, what else could I show you? Okay, so let's just say you actually wanted something to turn on and then off, right? Let's just say we had these two EQs, right? But uh we had crazy effects going on in these EQs. Let us um link this to the the same thing we had earlier. Boom, stay with me here. And then we wanna do the exact opposite for the other one, right? This saves time. Now you'll see what I'm doing here. So we are going to go yes, right? But now this time we're gonna go to, um, where do I click on this again? I haven't done this in a while, so forgive me. All right, so you click on this and then you go inverted, right? Now, I don't know all of these other options. This is just a cool little thing here. So now, as you can see, things will go opposite towards what the automation clip is, right? I know I'm not really uh, explaining everything too well, but you will see what's happening here. So. If things are turning on over here, anything that's inverted is going to turn off over there. You know what I mean? So watch this. Way too hard to drive, calling up my Uber driver. If you, you need some I mean? lyrics hit. All right, so there you go. It is your boy Fry. Go ahead and watch this video in 0.75 speed. I try to pack in a whole lot of info um, at once. I got the new, you know, technology, graphics cards, all that crazy. I will get back with the vid cam. I just prefer doing this as quicker. You know, I just slapped on a video quickly. Automation people in the comment section asking me, hey man, make a video on automation. I got you. All right. It is your boy Fry. Like and subscribe because that's how we're doing it. I'm signing out. Peace.